Greetings, Sir and Sirette, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. A lot of you have wanted this, apparently, after the last live stream, which, by the way, was the biggest live stream I've ever had with the most active viewers and the most views afterwards, so give yourself a round of applause there. Really proud of that. Thank you very much, Sir and Sirette, who attended and, of course, watched the video after it's published for making that happen. Really, really proud and a lovely moment for the channel. Anyway, today we're going to be playing around with Turt. Which quickly became a fan a fan favorite during the stream. Turt is a tier two tank. It's absolutely minuscule. You'll notice how small it is when we actually get into a game. Even compared with other robots, it is freaking tiny. It's technically a tank because it has tracks. It has the minimum tier track, and it has two tier four SMGs, which aren't really that powerful, even though they are over tiered. But honestly, it does pretty well. So it is a bit of an over tiered robot. I do understand the issues with that, but. I wanted something small and cute, and you can't really put more... You can put... I, I was actually messing around with the design, and you could kind of put three tier 3 SMGs instead, but it didn't really have the same feel and look to it, which upset me greatly. Ah, So, without further ado, let's get into a game, let's play some stuff, and let's murder some people horribly. Look, he has a nose, and now he doesn't. Oh wait, I can put a nose on, look. I don't run out of tier points. Now has a beak. Oh, he now has a beak. Honestly, though, I think it was cute without it because it makes me think of the Mega Man villains. Um, can I maybe put it on the back? A little bit of extra defense here. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, darn. But that means maybe... Could I put a radar... I obviously can't put a radar jammer on. It's far too expensive. But can I put a regular old radar on? No, I can't. Maybe if I untier some of the stuff, if I make some of the pink into orange... Wait, I'm going to pink. If I make some of the orange into blue I should say maybe then I could possibly get a radar because that would help out quite a lot it would be very nice if I had a radar I can now, wonderful uh, I think I'll put it on the back, even though it might deflect some shots I think it just looks far too cute like that okay. let's go then, I'm just going to queue up for our first match and we'll see how we do so back in a second, sir and or sirettes Welcome back, Sir and Sirette. So, Turt makes his first video appearance on a map. Hopefully we do well. Not the map I would have chosen, since being long range is obviously a lot better for this robot. <clears throat> my word, I have something stuck in my throat. Where's that light coming from? Oh. Um. Well, that's working as intended, clearly. I can't see any issues with him. He seems to be working just fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to the left, so we have a nice open field we can shoot across. Since, obviously, holding down fire for, for just two guns is pretty darn bad. But long range, kind of, and plinking is extremely effective, so... Go on now. I think he looks like a cross between a, a, a Mega Man villain and a, um... And a kind of turret segment. But we have called him Turt regardless, because he looks a little bit like a turtle as well. And Turt sounds adorable. So we are adorable. Oh dear. I can't laugh at him though, because the controls on this thing are so sharp, because it only has two uh, tracks. Let's see if we can plink off some of his guns before he gets too close. Maybe we should be focusing on the guy coming right up against us. Okay. Oh, he's firing at us now. Again, let's aim at his guns, trying to take them out as soon as we can. There we go. I am still being shot at though from a distance, but he's more of a worry. Okay, back to shooting at the distance. We've done quite a bit of damage. I haven't killed any of them yet, but... Oh no, there's another one! Oh no! Why would you do this, you fiend? You swat! I think I've lost a gun. I've definitely lost a gun. I've lost most of my stuff. Okay. Hopefully we can still... Okay, plinked him. Oh dear. Okay, our gun's in the right position to at least defend ourselves. Ah! Oh, we got completely overwhelmed by sheer number. But look how much damage we did. In terms of sheer damage done, we did pretty well, actually. I won't cut that out, of course, like I said before, I don't really cut out videos. Yeah, we got 689 CPU destroyed in tier 2, that is not bad at all. Let's do it again, hopefully. Ah, much better map for our intentions, excellent. My word, my speech is hard today, I, got, I have something stuck in my throat permanently today. Maybe I'm getting ill again, it's very possible, I am still outside far too often for these cold months. So I'm going to go around there and, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'll go and try and get on there. Sadly, we can't climb that. I actually tried during the stream and it didn't go too well. I would add thrusters, but honestly, thrusters don't really work with um, tracks, at least not very well. You can get them to work, but my word, you have to do some serious, stupid things to your robot. At least that's what I found myself. I may be completely wrong. Never take anything that Lathric says completely as true. Unless he afterwards says, I am certain of this fact and it is completely true. You can trust Lathric on this. 
But that is very rarely said. Because you should never trust Lafric some things. <laughs> okay then. Um, well, there's definitely a plasma who's shooting plasma over there. I see an enemy there. Of course, no one really um, spots in tier 2, because obviously a lot of people are new still new to the game, which is completely understandable. It'd be so much easier if I did, but aha, you are probably the plasma. You are indeed the plasma. I'm missing, I'm missing. There we go, hit him once. Obviously, our shots do do quite a bit of damage. 2k then, I think I knocked off one of his guns, so we have at least very minimum crippled the plasma coming. Okay, let's... Let's help out our guys over there, so I take minimum damage. I want to kind of hang off a little bit, because right now I can't get the shots off. I don't really miss that. I, I honestly thought it was a rock, because I was so sure I hit it. Just spotting everyone I can. Oh, can we get a kill? Yes, we can. Wonderful. As you can tell, I spend a lot of time standing still in zoom-in mode. I am basically a turret robot. That's essentially why I'm, quite, I'm, I'm a, a mid-range turret. With terrible accuracy, but that's more because of the silly des Okay, I can't see him because he's veiled by our ally's name. Is that guy over there going to win this? Ah, SMG, hello. Oh, full white blocks. Okay, that was a... Oh, two suicide attacks. That was a shame. They were very badly armoured. They must have only just um, arrived after Tier 1. They were very new to Tier 2. I feel quite bad about that. I do feel bad sometimes, honestly, when I'm in lower tiers, just because I am from a higher tier. I'm not not saying I'm good, but I know more about the nuances and little things about the game, which a new player might not quite yet know yet. Quite yet know yet. What? Okay, I'm going to go help those guys. They seem to be taking quite a bit of damage. There might be more than one opponent in there. I don't really know. There we go. Also, my radar should have picked up those enemies, so I really should have checked out the minimap a bit more often. Uh, they stopped being attacked. 15. Okay, they're, they're fine. So let's go and go towards the enemy base, I suppose. They actually were victorious. Both of my tracks have took damage, and now they've turned completely black. There we go. That was a better match. Three kills. Wonderful. A lot of damage done. A glorious battle, to be sure. A victory. Excellent. Let's do another match. Hey, and, and hero bonus for the match we died in. Excellent. We actually got an award for it. I do like it for being lower tiers because I don't. Oh my god, some of the names are terrible. Um, because I don't have to uh, stop recording before getting into matches because how soon it is. There's no point in either stopping recording or, or editing it out. It's so easy just to queue up. You have a scout, which is never really a good thing. Well, I have actually no one match. I swear was won by a really good fast scout. Just went straight in the air, straight over to the enemy team. Um, spotted everyone. It made it so easy for me to pick a good spot. It certainly helped out me, and I'm sure it helped out the team as well. But little tiny scouts that aren't faster than everyone else, and he's already flipped over. No. Why not add a gun? You know? If you, if you, the, the only reason that one particular scout was so good is because of the sheer speed the thing had. It was just a monstrous flyer. It just went phew, straight onto the other side. And I'm sure if he had weapons, he couldn't afford the sheer amount of speed he had. So, positives and Okay, he's getting gutted. There's no real need for us to fire. Let's try and go for the plasma who just fell by mistake. Is he aiming at us? I believe he is, just not very accurately. Stop. No, stop holding down fire, sir. You'll be much more accurate. Oh dear, plasma. Damn. Yeah, sadly, as was found out on the stream as well, plasmas do us in quite easily. So that's what I like about this robot. I don't feel overpowered at all when I'm playing this robot. I feel very vulnerable. It's not easy. It's not, sorry, it's not particularly hard to take it out because the tracks take up, take up so much... Um, Ranking, I have got, I've got almost no armor. I think I made of actually less than 20 blocks of armor. So plasma, of course, does a very good job of just eradicating me. Maybe I should bring plasma instead. Maybe I should convert convert it into a plasma uh, bed. It's like three or four tier three plasmas. You can bring a surprisingly high amount of tier three plasmas into tier two. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe ranking's been altered for them or something. So I'm sure you couldn't bring that many before. And then even tier three. They were tier four. And then two tier three, so yeah, you can take a lot of them then. Of course, the tracks are taking up a lot of CPU, a lot of um, ranking, which is upsetting, but oh well. I wanted a tank. You know, I wanted to play a tank, so I'm playing a freaking tank. Sadly, we can't bring four tracks into tier two, which is sad. I might make a um, tier three tank at some stage and actually make it a bit more viable. But I like this robot, it's just fun. It's fun as. Um, do I eye those? Okay, I think I'll. No, oh, no, someone coming. Oh, it's two people. Okay, let's go back to where I was going originally. There's also what I think to be a flying rail. Yeah, that angle has to be a flyer. I think they have noticed me. However, I've got a lot of other people to notice. Let's go for his guns, and once again, same for this guy. 
try and take out his guns as fast as possible. Okay, yeah, he just got gutted. Completely lovely. <laughs> Yay, we helped. Uh, so you're in the way of my shot. I don't want to move. Aim for the guns. There we go. Excellent, we got a kill. Uh, I wonder if that rail's still alive. If he is, we're, we're quite good against um, hot, against helium rails because our guns are so powerful. It tends to be one-shot kills. What on earth is that? Oh, the rail is still definitely alive. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, he's a rail, apparently. The huge fellow. Oh, no, he fell. I'm terrible at this game. Why do they let me make videos on this game? Ah, stay away from his guns. Well, actually, stay near his guns so he's turning fast. Aim for them. There we go, lovely. Where is that fly? That, that flyer needs to shoot so he reveals his position. It came from over there so somewhere, but I, can't, I thought one of the clouds him then. I was about to stop myself, but sadly it wasn't. Come now, fellow, where are you? That was a huge bloody rail there. My god, that's a huge robot. Oh, okay, there he is. I can see him. And spotted him as well. Uh, I think our little SMG guy managed to, to, to knock him out of the sky, so he's pretty much been nulled. He can still fire, it depends how he's landed. I mean, if he's landed on his side or something, then he's pretty much doomed. Oh, someone's capping our base. Uh, we do have a lot of defenders, though. Two of them being plasmas, so that should be fine. Yeah, we've won. There's only one enemy left, and we've won the game. Wonderful. Not been doing too well thus far, but I've been enjoying it, and that's the important thing. I don't really want to go to plasmas. I mean, as much as I do like plasmas, I am not... Uh, you know, I prefer SMGs, particularly in the lower tiers. So, tier 3, let's see. How much does this actually cost, ranking-wise? Oh, my word, that's nothing. I mean, even, even, even with the tracks, I could easily have four of these. Oh, that makes it more tempting. No, I think I'll stick with the SMGs. They appear to be less effective, but the fact that they can shoot down um, helium robots, in addition to being quite long range, it's just so hard to give up that ability. Since shooting a helium is so difficult if you don't have like spam plasma, in which case you're just going to cover the whole area in delicious fiery goodness. Another match, onwards we go. Ha, <laughs> Captain Jack Spammer is on our team. What a wonderful name. So where am I going to go? Well, I'm going to go over the... Was that the rail I shot at? No, it's still bit... Can you see that little graphical error in the corner? Well, I can. I think it's just on my screen. Back in a second. It appears I can't get rid of it during the game, so I'll have to wait until after the game to do that. So let's just continue with it. If you can see it, then I'm sorry. It's in the bottom right corner near the map. It seems to be fading out a little bit now. Not quite sure what's causing that, I've got to be honest. Um, alpha is alpha and all that. Probably just a weird glitch in Robocraft. Probably just changing the resolution will help, but of course you can't do that during a game. Oh my word, I forgot how bad tracks are on ice. When I first um, heard about the tank tracks, the caterpillar tracks, I thought they're actually going to do quite well on ice because of their, their grip and their white. But actually the white is a huge disadvantage and you can't turn very well. Oh my word, Captain Jack Spammer and Carmen are being eradicated. Faster, you little turrety fellow. We must go in there and help our allies. Who dares? You're a rock. Okay, well, we've shot a rock in vengeance. I do believe that will scare our enemies, knowing how far we'll go to defend our allies. Well, you've been crippled. Can you move? Oh, no, you can move. Excellent. You just wanted someone for cover. And you are a square. Excellent. Squares are true fighters, from what I've been told of your people. Ah, spinning out. Okay, there we go. And we're back. And we're functional again. Wonderful. Hey, someone's actually spotting. Wonderful. Go, you guys. Though I think we're going to be a bit useless during this match, sadly. Can we at least hit someone? I promise to be good. I just want to hit someone. I want to hurt them. Excellent. You are at 100%. No, this way again. Go the way you was going originally. I want to hit you. Come now. You know you want to reveal yourself to me so I can actually hit someone. Even if I die in the fight, I want to be able to hurt someone. Is that so wrong? I want to cause violence and pain upon the enemy. Excellent. Violence and pain. Violence. Violence. And pain. Ah, he didn't even fire backwards, the coward. Well, we helped. Yay. Will the random glitch go away by itself? That's the question. Oh, it's gone by itself, so it's something to do with the match. Okay, then. Well, I guess we'll just get into one other match. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do another. Onwards. This will be quite a short episode, probably. Actually, I don't, know, I don't know how long it's been going on for. It's just kind of me playing until I've had enough of this particular robot. Oh, a boss battle. Yeah, that's a good way to end it, I think. If it is a bit short, I do apologise. But I'll be recording another game, another 
Robocraft very soon, and we'll be streaming probably in the weekend. Oh wait, no, no I won't, because it'll be the, the holiday weekend. It probably won't be. Oh my word, please be plasma, please be a flying plasma. Just not an SMG, anything but SMG. SMG oh, why are you not listening to me? Well. I, I hate spawning there, it's a death sentence, isn't it? That does look very cool, but it's actually a terrible design. <laughs> Turning on that must be so terrible. I want to see him turn. Come on, someone, get close. Allies, fear him not. I was a martyr for our team. Now, go f shoot him. Oh, yeah, his turning is terrible. Excellent, I'll have been correct. <laughs> That's kind of... Oh, actually, like this robot we're currently watching. Very fragile, very nice looking. Oh, what a shame. Oh, yeah, he has tier 10 SMGs as well, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. Someone get closer. I want to see him. Where is he? There he is. Um, I'm not sure. Have I see it? Yeah, they are. Okay. Exiting game. Darn. Well, sir and sir, that's what a terrible way to end it. We spawned right in front of him and got instantly gunned down. Oh, well, a, th a thousand RP still isn't bad for tier two. So, thank you for watching, sir and sirettes. If you would like to leave a comment and a like, it really does help out the channel and helps out me a lot. It really does, and it means the world. It, it just means I know what you like watching and what you don't. So obviously, like some Robocraft, me more Robocraft. Yay, basic logic. Thank you for watching, sir and sirettes. Have a nice day, and if I don't see you before, have a nice holiday season. Goodbye, and have a nice day. Tilted.